But this one, the Coupe Suzanne Longlon, a major title, a, a single day prize check of over a million dollars. her Olympic moment, even the chance to sing the words to her country's national anthem. Damien Dumassois, the referee for the championship match, receiving his plate. Well, firstly, well done, Frank. You played uh, very, very well today in great tournaments. So, uh, well done and uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Expected to speak like that and compose themselves in public. I didn't prepare uh, nothing because uh, if I prepare something in the future, it never happens. So I say, I believe. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have to say something. Uh, I always watch, uh, I think, every final of this tournament, and I know what the big champions say. Uh, so I want to thank everybody, really. The people that are here in Italy to watch and everybody because uh, I felt amazing today. I feel a really champions and I'm really, really happy. Thank you to everybody. to say congrats to Sam because I think she has a, uh, she's a great great person and a great athlete you deserve to to be here next time you are young you can do it. <laughs> Grazie a tutti. Eh, penso che senza vostro supporto ogni persona che è qua non, non sarei quello che sono e quello che, che ho fatto. He said thanks to all in the group you are in my heart. Everyone who has supported me. I love you all. Last one. After I go. I start to be comfortable. <laughs> No, I want to say um, ciao a mia mamma e mio papà that are home. I love you, daddy, mommy. Ciao. ciao. 
She claims she didn't prepare anything and sounded like she'd been expecting this moment her whole life. I'm sorry. Yes? I'm honored <laughs> to, to be here with you, and you give me a great uh, trophy. Thanks to be here with us and uh, with me. No, I love you very much. Well done. <laughs> This trophy that has been lifted by the greats of the game. Steffi and Monica and Martina, Chris, four times by Justine Ennen, who many thought would be, uh, despite her short time back in this final again this year. And it is Francesca Schiavoni. 18 days from her 30th birthday, achieving the dream of a lifetime. Johnny Mack is on the court to talk with Schiavone when we come back. Now that I use you, we'll see if we can get Francesca. Yeah. Well, the second best server in women's tennis, Sam Stozer, but today the better server was the champion, Francesca Schiavone. To Love 30, you make the call on Tennis Channel. The headliners, Francesca Schiavone and Samantha Stoser in the finals of the 2010 French Open. Great rallies, power, touch, this one had it all. We now return you to the match. The scene now outside uh, Court Philippe Chatrier on the grounds of Roland Garros. People have been thoroughly entertained, not just by the play, but the sheer joy of victory for Italy's first women champion in the open era of tennis, Francesca Schiavone, and she is with John on the court. All right, Teddy, Francesca, first time we've officially met, or I've seen you around for years, many times. A pleasure to meet you, unbelievable. I mean, how in the world did you pull this off? Tell me. Yeah, it was very tough because she served so good, she's so strong, but uh, I tried to take the time and push as much as I could. And uh, at the end, I did so good today. To put it mildly, uh, tell me, the first Italian woman ever to be in this position in any Grand Slam. Tell me about how that felt before the match. Were you feeling a lot of pressure? No, pressure, no. I felt uh, many emotion. Uh, this morning I was crying and I couldn't take the car and say, you go coach to play, I don't go to play. So, But at the end, uh, I believed so much in myself and I tried to to stay focused on my play and don't think about other things, just uh, to play and to enjoy, really enjoy from the heart. You're 29, you've been around a long time. Did, I mean, did you ever think you'd be in a position when you came to this event? What were your hopes and expectations? No, oh, expectation, no, but uh, dream always. When I was young, uh, I was always dreaming to win this tournament, so. Now it's time to enjoy. Well, I noticed in the match that you had, an, to me, an excellent game plan. A lot of the players play a similar style. They hit everything the same way. You were giving your opponent a lot of different looks. You were slicing, volleying. I loved the volley. Your volley was amazing. Tell me about your strategy. It was, it was beautiful to watch. I really think you are much better than me, but thank you. <laughs> well, you guess what? You won the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Um, I work a lot uh, on my on my volley, but uh, the the goal was to try anyway to to go forward because otherwise she's too strong on the baseline, and I am uh, 60 kilos, she's 70, so I had to use one uh, one tactic and I uh, use also the volley. Where do you go now from here? What's the plan right now? Tell us about the celebration that's about to come. You've got my old agent, Mr. Palmieri, Corrado Barazzuti. What's the plan? I don't know. What do you do after? Uh... I'm ready for the celebration. Uh, Let okay. the party begin. OK, champagne and party. Listen, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, it was an amazing. Any parting words for the American audience? What did you say to your friends in Italian, by the way? No, I say thanks to be here. You are in my heart. I never, I couldn't be who I am, and I couldn't 
do what I did today without you. Well, after you're done with the tennis career, you have a future with the microphone, too. No, you're, no. You're very good with that. Well done. <laughs> I don't think so. Congratulations, Francesca. Grazie. Right. Grazie. Teddy, back to you. Unbelievable. That's a, how can you not like this young woman? What a great, great reactions. And I think she's right. I think John's right. But she still has some work to do with the racket. The French Open champion, Francesca Schiavone.